Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and um, I got this 1400 CS PowerBook uh, as a parts machine for my other 1400 CS which is in perfect shape. I just thought that this would be a nice thing to have some extra parts with and uh, also wanted to get the extra memory out of this too so I could upgrade the memory and my other CS. Uh, when I bought this from the seller, uh, he said it's a parts machine, the screen has a defect. Uh, the machine does power up, but um, what I did notice is this thing has a tremendous amount of battery damage. I mean, it is absolutely unbelievable. Um, when I took, I, I, I've already took this speaker cover off uh, to get the memory out and what I noticed is there is battery acid everywhere and when I take the battery out of this thing here which doesn't come out real easy now I've actually cleaned this battery up a little bit but if you look in here you can see and I don't know if you can see it really good. Let me um, get this in the light just right here where you can see it maybe. And I'll see you guys back in 10 seconds. And I know you probably can't see it really good, but the contacts are all corroded up on the battery connector in there. And um, it's just amazing how much battery damage is in this thing, but the thing still powers up. In fact, there's so much corrosion on this thing that this floppy drive module will not come out because there's corrosion all the way around it. And I'm wondering if this even works that, I mean, I, I'm afraid to stick a floppy drive in it to see if it even works because I want to get this out get it cleaned up and I can put it in my other one because my other one works perfectly and like I said it looks brand new. So what we're going to do is we're going to dismantle this thing and see how bad it looks on the inside. So that's what we're going to do and uh, we'll kind of go uh, somewhat detailed dismantling this thing. And uh, So what I want to do is I want to rebuild one of these batteries and I've been scouring the internet for information. I have found a few things of the type of cells that were in there and I've been looking to find replacement cells. And um, I have two of these packs. One came out of this machine which does not work the battery and then of course the other one uh, really doesn't hold a charge either and the one that's like uh, the other 1400 CS that's in almost like perfect shape. So anyway, um, this is going to be the one that uh, I experiment on. Now what I did is I peeled this label off and you can kind of see the color of the cells in there. And I believe these are Sanyo batteries. Um, and I believe these are 2.4, 2.5 volt cells. There's four of them in here. There's also a board and there's a couple other components in here. Um, and so my concern is when I take this thing apart if that board in there is destroyed. So it will be an interesting uh, teardown. Um, like I said, I, see, I got a picture of it, what it looks like with this cover off with these connectors on it. And uh, so it would be really wonderful if we could obtain all the batteries. And uh, just to kind of give you an idea uh, the battery damage on this too. You can look at these f rubber feet on the bottom of this thing and you can see that the screws are actually rusted. They're corroded. Because what I do want to do is I want to use this bottom cover uh, because mine has uh, it, it had been engraved for like a school district and this bottom cover actually is flawless and I want to take and I'm going to take this off put it on my uh, other other uh, 1400 CS and I put it on it. So anyway, 
we're going to take these apart. Now these come apart really, really easy. This thing is very modular. That's what I like about it. So like, first off, the, the top case here, um, when you purchase these things, uh, they said you could customize the panels and stuff. And so anyway, it just unsnaps just like that. And this, this is in really fantastic shape too. I mean, both sides look good. Let's get a little dirt in there from all the years. Um, I'm going to set that over here out of the way. And then what we're gonna do is uh, there's screws on top here and uh, I'm not sure uh, if I do that, if that comes off too. But what I wanna do is I'm gonna flip this over first. I wanna start just seeing how easy it is to take this uh, bottom panel off here. And everything is just a, uh, believe it or not, just a Phillips uh, screwdriver. Well, guys, I just finally got this out of this machine. What I went up doing is I was pushing it and pulling it at the same time. Look at the battery acid on this thing. It just, thank goodness it's not on this. Uh, and I think we might be okay. It looks like it's just on the plastic case. And um, I'm looking at the connectors on the back here and they look to be okay. So we might get lucky on this. Uh, we'll have to, we'll have to test it here. But uh, at least we got this out. So that was my concern. And now I can take a look in here. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of acid in there just on here. So I'm going to see if I can get this bottom cover off here. So let's flip it back over here. And I think we might have to take these screws out here. So we finally got uh, the top cover off. What you basically have to do is take the display off and then this all, this these four screws basically is what keeps this top cover still held on. So anyway, just kind of looking at the damage here, um, you can see on the metal here, 
where the acid got on it. Now I'm gonna I'll try to clean this off. Hopefully this will clean up pretty good. I don't know how how it's corroded it. Um, there's the um, backup battery, and we'll take that out because I'd like to replace the backup battery in the other one. Um, but anyway, there's the speaker, and then there's the cable that goes up to the trackpad there. And let's see. So that doesn't look terrible. And then I've already taken the, the processor off the daughter board here. The processor itself looks okay. I took the uh, thermal uh, pad off of it because that was pretty, pretty bad looking. So we'll have to put a new one on there. And um, then here's the motherboard in here, and there's the uh, ejector mechanism for the uh, extra PCI card you put in it. Uh, this is part of the, that's where the hard drive would go, and that's all part of the hard drive there. And then the card, the trackpad plugs into there. Track that plugs into there. Let me zoom out here. And um, go back here. And then you can see there's a little corrosion in here, right there. Um, like I said, it, it, does, it, it doesn't look like it got on any of the components. The only thing that I see on here is there's a, some corrosion here and a couple little spots there. Uh, and on the I.O. port here too. So we're going to take the uh, motherboard out of it so we can clean it up. Like I said, we're going to use a toothbrush and stuff. We'll take that ejector assembly off of it. We'll take the whole motherboard off of it. And we'll give that a good cleaning. And uh, But uh, like I said, the board does work on this thing. So basically what I wanted is the, the back half of this, but boy, you got to dismantle the thing to do that. I really don't want to do that to the... Uh, the other one because it's in such fabulous shape you know so I might just leave it I'm not gonna I'll live with that little inscription on the back of it I'm not gonna tear it apart just to do that but I do need to take and clean these com this board up because of the stuff that is on it and uh, so that way there won't be any damage on the board the capacitors look fine they don't look bulged or anything that I can tell they all look pretty good um, it doesn't look like there's been any leakage on them they look pretty clean actually and um, all the connectors look good they're not corroded so that's good and like I said so we're gonna take and uh, just basically start doing some cleaning up here um, like I said the only thing that's wrong with this thing is the monitor is defective on it and uh, this is the monitor right here. Let me zoom out here. There's the plugs and they look okay. There's no corrosion on them. They look pretty clean. Cables themselves, get a little dirt on them, but they look pretty good. Um, and then of course, the back of it there looks pretty good. So, I think we got kind of lucky actually. Uh, like I said, the only thing I got my concerns with is that uh, floppy drive. And um, like I said, I'm not worried about the board because the board's fine. We're just going to clean it and uh, kind of put it back together a little bit. And uh, yeah, but like I said, all the, it's got a lot of good parts on it. So anyway, I'm going to clean this back up here. And we're going to finish taking this motherboard out. And <clears throat> we'll see how it goes here. Okay, so we've been cleaning for an hour or so. This board is still a little wet, but it cleaned up perfectly. Look at the uh, copper contacts. Just using Dawn dishwashing soap and an electric toothbrush, it cleaned it all. All that corrosion's off. They look, they're not pitted. I'm shocked that they came out that good. Um, everything else cleaned up really good. All, I went ahead and cleaned all the sockets and everything, all around the chips. Uh, all around the ports here, got them all cleaned up. Uh, there were some 
you know some stuff right around here that all came off looks they're all nice and shiny again and on the back of the board the same thing all the copper is nice and shiny all the connectors look good um, it's just because it's still a little wet here that's why it's a little frosty looking here but anyway yeah this cleaned up really good and you see how shiny these are here this cleaned up really good and I'm very surprised. Uh, even the IO ports here, they clean up pretty good. They don't look too bad at all. You get most of that corrosion off of it. Um, the lowercase, I'll show you what that looks like. This, <clears throat> the inside of the shielding here, this is what took the brunt of it. I got a lot of it cleaned off, but you can see that battery really ate up that metal there but uh, I got all the the I mean this took me like about 10 minutes to do and it kept getting the old battery acid off of it so it, it's uh, you know this side looks pretty good right there we're underneath the uh, processor that got a little corroded but that cleaned up a little bit so uh, overall though, I mean, it, it cleaned up relatively well. I mean, I, I knew it wasn't all gonna come off of there just because it was pitted, but uh, at least it's usable again now. And of course the back is fine. Nothing wrong with that, plastic. Uh, so yeah, so I got that cleaned out. And then this goes on the back of the motherboard. And this is the uh, metal shielding and then the black case goes on top of that so this all cleaned up really well no problems there no pitting that turned out really well so I'm pleased with that and then um, that little plastic shield this one underneath the motherboard and got most of that stuff off just there's a few little stains but I got the majority of it off so it looks looks pretty good now and then also the keyboard uh, there was a lot of corrosion on that but that's all cleaned off there that cleaned up really good so the keyboard's fine uh, the ribbon cable's fine nothing got damaged on that so this keyboard works okay so another good salvageable part there looks pretty good it looks like, like there's hardly looks like there's hardly any wear on it which is really good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the uh, screws off this cover and uh, I'm hoping that there's no damage inside here. Uh, I'll wash the uh, case up here. So hopefully um, we'll get lucky with that one there. I also washed up the heat sink that came out perfect too. That looks really good. And I'm just putting all my wash, washed up parts here off camera. So we're gonna take and uh, see what we can do on this here. Uh, again, there's some screws that hold this cover down. I've never had this thing apart before. We're gonna find out uh, how easy this thing is to take apart here. And I want to just see if there is any damage to that floppy drive in there. So let's take the screws out. what it was there's a screw in there all right let's take a look in here okay I see some corrosion right right, uh, right there there's some corrosion there let me move my light here all right maybe you can see that better now let's light it up here a little better so you can see it right there. <clears throat> there's right there, there's corrosion right there. And it looks like that's the back of the motor. Um, it doesn't look like anything else is corroded. Uh, this board looks okay. Uh, let me take, let me take some 
screws out so we can get this out and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, well we took the uh, floppy drive out of that uh, enclosure and we popped the top off. And uh, yeah, I think this uh, floppy is pretty well done for. You can see the motor is just totally corroded up on it. I can't even turn this shaft with, the, with I try to use my little pliers and I can't even turn that shaft so that thing is all frozen up. Um, other than that, uh, that board looks fine, the heads look fine, but you can see just the back where obviously the acid had dripped on it, uh, did a number on it, ate up, corroded up all the metal, ate up, and right to where that circuit board goes in there. Let me zoom in here so you can see it. Look, look how bad that thing is just all corroded up. I mean, it is just totally trashed. Which is unfortunate. It really is. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. But, I mean, there's a few things that are salvageable on it, but it's this, this nice little Mitsubishi uh, floppy drive. It is. Uh, not going to make it. So anyway, um, that's that's a disappointing thing. But as I knew, I suspected uh, the main thing, the motherboard, that is perfectly fine. That's what I was most worried about. So that's looking good. The hard drive's okay, so it's not a total loss for sure. So anyway, but mother machine has a floppy drive that works perfectly fine on it. I was just hoping to have an extra one. So yeah. Well, I've done a lot of work off camera here. Um, so anyway, I started putting it back together. Um, I got the motherboard back in it. And uh, as you can see, these contacts uh, right here are look brand new again. That's where the battery went against it. So uh, like I said, the motherboard, no damage on it. It's everything cleaned up beautifully on it. Uh, the only thing that really suffered the damage was the shielding on the inside of the lower case and the um, of course the floppy drive there are usable parts the case is still good just have to clean that off to get the rest of that stuff off of it uh, there's that ribbon cable the circuit boards in here they, they still look fine they didn't get any battery acid on them and uh, so that's really been the only casualty um, the heat sink cleaned up really good on it looks good and uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna put it back together a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put the screen back on it. Like I said, this is a parts machine, but like I said, the parts on this, the casing, uh, the buttons on it are fine. These little, uh, where it says PowerBook 1400CS, Macintosh, hinges are good, the cables are good, so um, you know, if I find a screen that's really cheap, I'll replace it. But the thing that is wrong with it is this little latch here is missing. It's gotten broken off. Um, the switch on that uppercase is fine. That mechanism is fine. But like I said, this is a parts machine. and uh, But I wanted to make sure that I cleaned it up because of the battery leakage that happened to it. So I'm just probably going to... I'll put this in the little bin and for parts and stuff. And like I said, I'll put the, the, the feet back on it um, and I'll put the heat sink back on it even though there's no uh, thermal pad, I'll put the back on it. The top part, I actually haven't cleaned yet, I gotta do that yet, uh, but it is not pitted nearly as bad as the, uh, the lower part. So anyway, I gotta do that. So anyway, um, and the keyboard, just to reiterate, also the keyboard is fine. That all cleaned up there just fine. Looks, looks new again. Ribbon cable looks fine on it. So yeah, so we got a lot of good usable parts. The hard drive works. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing in the future is, like I said, what I want to do is I want to take this thing apart. And I want to. I'm, I'm still looking 
I, I've went on Mac Rumors to find some things about it, the cells and stuff. Some guy worked on one before, and uh, but I want to pop this thing apart and see how bad the acid is inside it. I hope it didn't wreck the circuit board in here. That would be terrible. And uh, like I said, I want to rebuild one of these, or maybe even both of them. Uh, since this is the worst one, I'll rebuild this one. And it'd be great if we had it uh, working, because that way then we could actually have an actual laptop again. We won't have to have it plugged in all the time. And that'd be great, because you can't get these batteries anymore. I've looked high and low. They are non-existent. I even look for some knockoffs of it. But, uh, you know, the voltage has got to be just right on these things. And uh, this little thing right here, this is actually like a plastic sticker. And uh, all you have to do, like I said, I peeled this off pretty much all the way. But when we reapply it, what we'll do is we'll heat this up with a hair dryer. That'll reactivate the glue in it. As we pull it down, we can get a lot of the humpy bumpies out. And, and that'll, that'll stick down again. That won't look so bad like it does now. So but I'm not worried about it right now because we're going to be tearing this thing apart. So anyway, uh, yeah. And that's going to be in another video. Uh, the other thing I'm going to be doing is on the uh, 1400 166 uh, CS is we're going to put a CF drive in it. And um, the one I ordered was the one uh, I had asked uh, Sean from Action Retro uh, which one he used. So I went to the website, I ordered it from Amazon, but um, it's, it's different. So what I had to do is I had to order a two inch uh, female to male ribbon cable. So that way I can hook it up the way it is now. I can't hook it up, there's just not enough ribbon cable on the, uh, the board itself. This, this thing right here, that is just too short to work with so what's going to happen is that little CF drive will lay in that area um, and then uh, the little ribbon cable will attach to the one 2.5 inch male header and then the female will go into that and uh, we'll get it going and uh, so yeah I've, I've never ever put a CF drive in an old Mac before so that would be an adventure and uh, we'll both learn together on it. But like I said, this here all cleaned up really good. Um, I'm pleased that, that this did not get destroyed. Like I said, it's powered up fine, but I am kind of disappointed that the um, floppy drive is pretty much wrecked. It's just parts only, but that's all right. We'll be able to use it for something. So yeah, so I think that's going to wrap up the video. And um, we will continue on this. Like I said, this just we're not going to do much more to this. Just do maybe slap the top back on. That might be what I do. But other than that, I'll just leave it apart. And uh, the reason why I put the circuit board in there so there it won't get damaged. That's the only reason why I put that in there, the motherboard. Keep it safe. And I just kind of threw it back together, guys, just uh, so it's not all laying around in pieces. So it, it'll come apart real quick. I put the screws back in it, but I can take it apart in about five minutes. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to attach the monitor. I'm going to leave this off of it. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do with that. But like I said, the parts are all good. And uh, so yeah, so at least at least uh, the good thing is uh, as the keyboard falls out of it there, because I, like I said, I just got it laying in there. I don't have it anchored in there. I didn't have uh, this on there either. Real good. Like I said, it's going to go on the shelf here. But anyway, good spare parts. Uh, like I said, these machines are getting harder to find. And uh, But like I said, I am disappointed about that uh, hard drive, but life goes on. So okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I learned a lot. How to tear one of these things apart. Now we know what kind of damage a nickel hydrate battery can do on it. Uh, as you can see, it's very destructive. And I uh, hope uh, you guys take really good care of your machines. Always make sure to pull the batteries out if they're not going to be used very long. Uh, it'll save you a lot of grief on this one, just like this one. It uh, unfortunately happened to us, but at least we got some good parts still to, able to use on it. So anyway, 
like this video I appreciate it give me a thumbs up also make sure you click the bell for future videos and uh, hey guys we'll see you in the next video today is Tuesday August 11th and it's about 100 degrees outside other than that it's a good day you guys have a good one I'll see you in the next video bye